Drop zones are a fast, easy way to add clips to Motion VFX titles and templates. But what happens when your footage is shorter than the time of your drop zone? You can see my clip end is here on the left, and the start of my drop zone in my timeline is here on the right. Another situation is what if you only want to use part of it in your drop zone? Let's see what happens normally. I'll select my drop zone and apply my footage to it. And we run into a typical issue. Final Cut will display the last frame of selected footage as a still frame. So how can we solve this issue? The first thing you'll do is move your clip to where your drop zone starts. In this example, I'm moving the clip to around 40 seconds. I'll create a marker on my timeline to denote where I want this to start. I'll move my playhead to the position of the start of the clip and hit the M button on my keyboard to make a marker. Go to the Generators tab and find the solid Custom Generator. You can also press the Q key when it's selected to make a connected clip. Adjust the timing of the solid to the marker. Next, select both the solid and the footage you want to use in the drop zone and create a compound clip. To create a compound clip, right click your selection and choose Compound Clip or use keyboard shortcut Alt plus G. With our compound clip, add the suffix CC so we can easily find it later. We can now remove this clip from our timeline. Go to your library where the compound clip is saved as we will need it in just a moment. Go to where the marker we created earlier is or use keyboard shortcut Control plus apostrophe to go to your marker. In the inspector, go to your drop zone and select it. Lastly, select the first frame of your newly created compound clip and apply it. Now your footage is correctly displayed in the drop zone. For more great tips and tricks, please visit motionvfx.com.